Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I'm sorry. You had a question about lat engagement. You're having trouble firing your lats. It's a very odd question just to come through and ask me while I'm having coffee. But since you asked, sure. Let's go over some lat engagement. Lat engagement is one of the most difficult things for an athlete to really get control of. Especially if it's something that you're not familiar with in the first place, or that your sport really doesn't require a whole lot of lat engagement to begin with. Or, as a person pursuing fitness for their own health benefits, lat engagement, well, it's almost elusive if you don't have either the anatomical experience uh, like a massage therapist or a physical therapist may have or again if you didn't play sports that required your lats to be truly engaged like gymnastics so in other words if you weren't a gymnast as a kid you probably have a hard time firing your lats at will or even knowing how to feel them so lat engagement is a big deal because your back is one of the biggest muscles of your body. From your traps, down to your lats, down to your erectors, your back, and then your thighs are your two biggest muscle groups that you have in the body. Which means that they are the biggest powerhouses. Now, too many times people either overload these muscle groups by not integrating the smaller ones to assist it, or they don't know how to turn it on. So, how do we get this activation? Well, it's different for everybody. I'll share with you some things that have worked for me, but keep in mind, it's a process. It doesn't come right away. It's not a light switch where you can just flick it on or off. It'll take some time. It'll take some trial and error, and it'll take you getting to know your body. But that's okay, because if it's something that you're serious about, the more you get to know your body, the more you and your body can start to have a mutual respect and command for each other. And then all the technical knowledge that you gain will start to increase tenfold, as well as you're gonna be able to understand technical nuances a lot more if you can understand lat engagement or bottom core activation, all these little things but it comes from knowing your body and being able to control it. A quick little read, little plug, is there's an old strongman named Maxim. He would, his full name is German, but he went by Maxim, M-A-X-I-M. And he actually has a book on muscle control called Muscle Control. It's a really good book. It was printed back in the 20s, but it sells some really good relevant information about controlling your musculature and understanding and how to gain that kind of awareness. You can get it at theartofmanliness.com. It's where I got it. Uh, I ordered it from there and they have reprints of it. It's a really good website, but really good literature library as well that you can order that kind of stuff. So take a look for that. Now, on to lat engagement. Let's go to the first one. For the first one, you're going to sit against the wall as if you're going to do a wall sit. You're going to drive your shoulders down, so they're not hiked at your ears. For lat engagement, shoulder pack, or having the shoulders down, is crucial in all of it. So, first key, shoulders down. And back, so flatten your shoulder blades to the wall, bend the shoulders out, down, and then elbows at a 45. You can either go from here, or you can lift the hips up a little bit. Shoulder blades still flat, head not against the wall, it's neutral. And then you're gonna drive, shoulders down, elbows out, drive the elbows into the wall, and drive yourself off the wall. Note, this is a very small movement. You don't get very far. Even if your back is flat on the wall, you may get a little bit farther off. With the hips up, there's more weight going against it, so it's a little bit heavier. 
You're trying to push your elbows into the wall like you're trying to pinch your shoulder blades together with your shoulders down to get that lat engagement and that's what you're looking for. It is strenuous. Don't be alarmed if you can't lift yourself up the first few times. You have to build it. But look for pressing into the wall and just start to feel some sort of engagement. That's the best that you can hope for right off the bat. And then with frequency, you'll be able to continue and get better at it. Now, for the second, if you did that, you still weren't able to feel your lats. And you started feeling it in your neck. It means you're having trouble bringing the shoulders down. Your shoulder pack isn't happening. And then that tension is not gonna be here, but yet it's gonna hike up into your traps, into your neck, and it is not fun. So if you feel it up here, shoulders are too high or too far forward. So down and back is key for shoulder pack, lat engagement. Now, if you did this and you weren't successful, again, having that feeling in the neck maybe, or not, but you just weren't able to get it, you didn't feel anything. Neurologically, your lats may be turned off, which means that your body decided that because it wasn't being used, it's going to roadmap a new neurological pattern in your body to compensate for it. Most people, again, it's up here in the shoulder. Hence why they have very tight, sore traps. Because some jobs that your lat could be helping you with is being transferred up here because these are off. So how do we turn them on? Well, they need attention. And you need a, probably a physical key to wake them up. And how does this happen? Usually as a coach, when I see a client's lat is turned off, I literally may have to go and poke them in the lap, the back of a knuckle, hand, or perhaps an object, right in that lat area in the back, just to get it to bring attention back to that area. Now once you do, you'll be able to flex the lat on key. That's when you know you have control and attention to a muscle. If you can flex it, like your bicep, we can flex our bicep. We can shrug our shoulders. We can flex a tricep. I'm not trying to show off, but I'm just showing. You should be able to have that kind of engagement, even if you can't quite see, whether it be the forearm or anything else. You can contract. Same thing with squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. It's just muscle control. So with your lat engagement, and you can't feel it, try giving yourself a physical touch. Grab here, make a loose fist. So not all the way, try right on top. Nice loose fist. Come out, do what I had mentioned. Grab the lat right here, give a bit of pressure, squeeze. This is what you're trying to use. Lock your elbow, drive your shoulders down, See if you can start to get engagement that way. Then while they're down, back, you should get more engagement. Be feeling it. Give yourself some feedback if you need it. Pinch it, poke it, grab it. And then start to rotate your arm. Pinkies going towards you, thumbs going away from you while your shoulders are down and back. <sighs> Squeeze. That's all that engagement, if doing it correctly. So again, out, loose fist, but fingers together. Shoulder down. Shoulder back. Rotate. Again. Down, back. So note when I pull back, my chest pops out a little bit. Rotate. Get that lat on and relax. Now I know it's something not so easily conveyed via video and feeling it is a lot easier, but it's a start. So between the wall push with the elbows and this right here, which you can do on your own, it can start to give you an idea. And especially at the grabbing lat, you can feel what action is happening under the skin. 
and try to bring attention into that area. Now, let's go to the last one, which is a bit more advanced. Okay, for our last one, you're going to need a bob, or perhaps some rings. Either or will work. Now, if you're going to use your bar, here's what you're going to do. You're going to get onto the bar. Have a step if you need it. Wrap the arm around, thumb underneath. Not false grip, full grip. Try to dig deep so your pinky knuckle was over the top of the bar. This is something that I learned from my coach, Alberto Galazzi, and has made a world of a difference for me. So, grabbing, wrapping around, and then, my feet are still on the ground. I'm going to try to bring my weight to my arms, and twist, and pull the shoulders back and down to engage the legs. Keeping elbows as straight as possible. Try to down, back, twist, and pull forward. It's this motion. Here. Because you don't want that. That's a pull. We're trying to do all get lat engagement from here. That's what you should be doing here. Arm straight. Pull down. And you may not go far, but go to the range of motion that you can. Over time, it'll increase. Now, if you use your rings, you can do the same thing. But if you notice, I'm sitting with my legs straight. So this is a regression to help the same thing. So now I'm laying down, drive down, What you don't see is my, since my legs are down and my heels are together, I'm able to pull down, but I have some support for me pushing into my heels on the ground. So again, let me change the angle. So sit back, down, out. Now, the problem with this is, it's helpful, but if you rely too much on your legs, you may never really get that lat engagement. And once you can feel it, and you know you're trying to work it, then it's great, because you're not gonna rely too much on just pressing from your heels. So be careful that you don't rely too much on the legs as a crutch, and still focus on that lat engagement. All right guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you got a few tips that you can apply to your practice and hopefully make a difference for you like they've done for me. And again, I apologize if maybe they don't or it doesn't quite address the needs or the problems you're having, but hopefully it'll give you at least a pathway or an idea and in that, some ingenuity on your part, you'll be able to figure it out. So, happy training, hope to hear from you soon and thanks for joining me.